Now, you may have heard of an effort to charge President Trump with corruption over something called the Emoluments Clause of the Constitution. The accusation is that by allowing foreign officials to patronize the Trump Hotel in Washington, D.C., the president is violating the constitutional ban on payments from foreign governments to federal office holders. But is there an ethical double standard here? Our broken ethics system is this week's Swamp Watch. The argument against President Trump is that his company is profiting from foreign leaders spending money at his property in order to exert undue influence on him. The president said he'd donate all profits from foreign leaders staying at his hotels to the Treasury Department. And he's followed through. Just a couple of months ago, he gave $150,000 in profits to the United States Treasury. But look who's behind this effort. One of the organizations pushing this emoluments case is Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, which is headed by Norm Eisen, formerly President Obama's ethics czar. He is zealously pursuing Donald Trump over his hotel, but it would have been nice to have had some of that ethical zeal during the Obama administration. Where was ethics czar Norm Eisen when Hillary Clinton's State Department approved $165 billion worth of commercial arms sales to 20 nations whose governments had given money to the Clinton Foundation? Where was ethics on Norm Eisen when Bill Clinton was paid half a million dollars by a Russian investment bank for a speech he gave while his wife was Secretary of State and approving deals to help Russia? Or when in October 2010, Bill Clinton took $225,000 for a speech he gave in Jamaica that was sponsored in part by the Irish telecom firm Digicel. Only a few weeks earlier, Digicel had applied for grant money from his wife's State Department. Two months after Bill's speech, Digicel received the first installment. The chairman of Digicel, by the way, is an Irish billionaire, Dennis O'Brien, a friend of the Clintons who'd previously set up a number of speaking engagements for Bill and donated millions of his own money to the Clinton Foundation. Somehow, ethics czar Norm Eisen wasn't fussed about any of these swampy Clinton schemes. Eisen was also heavily involved in President Obama's executive order that was hailed as the most sweeping ethics reform in history. The order barred former registered lobbyists from working on regulations or contracts that, quote, directly and substantially related to their prior employers. But that executive order had a shocking number of loopholes, including a waiver issued by the Obama administration to one William Lynn, a former lobbyist for defense contractor Raytheon, who was nevertheless appointed deputy secretary of defense. Here's another revolving door loophole. According to a Politico investigation, Marilyn Taverner, who helped craft Obamacare as head of the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, left the administration in February 2015 and resurfaced in July as CEO of a health insurer trade group called America's Health Insurance Plans. If that wasn't swampy enough, she also registered as a federal lobbyist. She claimed that she complied with Obama's executive order on ethics because she herself didn't lobby the executive branch directly. She just met with members of Congress and gave advice to her colleagues who could lobby the executive branch directly. It gets worse. Since Eisen and Obama's executive order only related to registered lobbyists, many in the industry simply deregistered from the ethics system and continue to do the same work under different names like strategic advisor, the order was so toothless, they got away with it. There has reportedly never been a single case of criminal enforcement for ignoring the registration requirement for lobbyists. Federal lobbying registration documents estimate that special interests spend roughly $3 billion a year on lobbying and employ just under 10,000 lobbyists. But estimates that include unregistered lobbying put the number closer to $6 billion and 100,000 lobbyists, 10 times as many. So much for the most sweeping ethics reform in history. And now, isn't it convenient for the Washington establishment to distract attention from their own systemic swampiness by targeting the Trump Hotel? The lawyers, the lobbyists, the current and former politicians, and all the hangers-on in the giant cesspit of cronyism that Washington has become, they don't care about ethics. They don't care about the Trump Hotel. That's amateur hour compared to what they get up to. All they care about is protecting their own corrupt business model at your expense.